Hi, this is Anna Hoffman with Traffic Generation Cafe, and this is a tutorial on how to use Google Data Highlighter to add structured data to your site. From your site dashboard in Google Webmaster Tools, we'll navigate to Search Appearance and Data Highlighter. Once it loads, we'll click on Start Highlighting. And here it will ask us to enter the URL of a typical page on your site. Since we're doing a markup for articles specifically in this case, I would enter a URL of any post that you want to wish as an example. And then we'll choose type of information to highlight. We'll choose articles. And then we'll have two options to tag this page and others like it, or tag just this page. If you're cautious and you want to take a look on what how um, it works first, we'll just tag this page. But if you want to tag all the articles, all the blog posts on your site without having to go through each one of them, I suggest you choose the first one. For this particular video, we'll just do this page since we don't want to have to wait forever. For Google to work. Now that my page, my blog post is loaded, all we need to do is literally highlight. First, we're looking for the title of the article. So I'm going to highlight my post title and mark it as title. And as you can see, my title was added to the right hand side of the dashboard. Next is author. Author is right here, that would be me. I'm going to add it to author. And now it showed up right here. So I'm going to pause the video and add the rest of the data and then we'll take a look, look at what we've got. Another trick to using Google Data Highlighter is to add the missing tags through this little gear in the top right corner. Since, as I already mentioned, I do not publish the dates or the categories for the posts because most of the posts that I, I publish I consider them evergreen and I certainly don't want my readers not to read the posts just because they think that the information is old. So let's say here I can select tag type, date publish and then I can auto detect day and time and I can add other tags like that as well. Now it's very true that Google Data Highlighter does not, um, the article module of it, does not highlight nearly enough data that is suggested by schema website. As you can see here, I'm on their website right now, and there are many, many different types of metadata that you can mark according to schema. But once again, uh, we are users, we're not techie people, and we're just hoping that somebody will build a thorough plugin that will be able to take care of it. Until then, Google Data Highlighter is definitely the best choice that we have, and this is a very easy way to mark up our data, not just for articles, but also for events, organizations, uh, reviews, and different kinds of um, data. This is Anna Hoffman with Traffic Generation Cafe.